Hey there, I'm Mark from Spectrum Pulse, and today we have from Hooray for the Riff Raff, The Past is Still Alive. It frustrates me to this day that Alinda Segarra's 2022 album Life on Earth just didn't click for me. An album stylizing itself as nature punk that careened across so many ideas and instrumentation and content that the experiments, the emotional core, they never coalesced. But I was never satisfied with my thoughts on that album. It always felt like it was built to work way better for a different audience that could connect to the unique ramshackle vibe. And you know what? The Navigator in 2017 built so much goodwill for me that a return to more conventional Americana, it seems set up to work, even if I was still a little leery with Brad Cook remaining on production. So I am absolutely thrilled to say that this album does work beyond just the approach to pick up so much more warm, textured Americana. It feels more comfortable for everyone, sure, but that's also not the main reason why it works. It's the recentering of the emotional core and the narrative to Sagara's winding stories and character portraits. A lot has already been made about the autobiography of these stories. From the early years where they were living rough and hopping trains in the very queer, very ragged punk scene. But it's also been a while since I've found an album that not just feels so lived in with the sense of tactile detail, but also the love and humanity it extends to everyone within it. The queer folks, the homeless, the mentally ill, the drug addicts, those that capitalist societies, past, present, and future, at best ignore and at worst try to exterminate. And there is some subtext extending from life on Earth around the species that are made extinct by those crushing systems that only seem to get more rapacious and corrupt. Buffalo is such a stirring example of this, where the indigenous context isn't just inescapable within Americana, it's kind of essential to underscore the environmentalist themes that also run beneath the album, but also those who survive beneath or just outside those systems and always have and always will. And I truly love how much Sagara traces real love stories and a sense of community in these spaces in their writing. Needed for survival, sure, but also a more complex humanity that comes with dealing with partners in those scenes that have substance abuse issues on Snake Plant, The Past is Still Alive, or those who are on a downward depressive spiral like on Alibi. Another major factor is how time is perceived, as these windswept stories and memories often blur together, where even if apocalypse might be on a horizon, there is something that still feels timeless in the rough edges and rhymes across the years, where art and symbolism echoes and resonates. And it changes you, fundamentally. You are shaped by your environment and those that surround you. And while Sagara nimbly captures the thrill of being in that environment, they also capture the heartbreak and the grief at the consequence of being shaped by it and beholding such a dramatically unequal world. The second verse an hourglass is fucking devastating. Or those who leave never to be seen again. Or those who wind up dead but hopefully not forgotten. Their father passed away a few weeks before recording this album and processing the loss of a parent and stabilizing presence, it's powerful subtext even before they add voicemail fragments of his voice as a coda to this album. Where grief and love intertwine so much you realize they're just two sides of the same coin. So if I've got so much praise for this album because it is legit excellent, where do things go off the rails, pardon the pun? Well, I'm still very much on the fence about the structure of these songs and the production, the latter more so. True to very old Americana chord structures and traditions, it's a very song-focused album. It's got some of Cigar's stickiest hooks, and Brad Cook does strike a good balance with this choice to keep this more accessible in the warmer palette. It's almost conventional to a fault. And you know, it's kind of odd, because if this project had a more defined, unique sense of stylism like The Navigator did, it might be able to accentuate some of its points or texture in an atmosphere more effectively, or maybe showcase more dramatic flourishes, because this is very mid-tempo and even keeled, and if you're not paying attention to the lyrical details, some moments might run together, and even if that helps the theme, it doesn't always help certain songs pop as strongly, and given that it runs just under 40 minutes, there was the space to do more, but also the choice to underplay the stylism probably helps the deeply felt populism, and Sagara has such a gripping and engaging performer on the mic that it almost doesn't really matter. But in short, 
this is a songwriter's album that refuses to carry itself with any of that pretension. And I sadly know that to many it's going to get dismissed, especially if they do not put the work in for the lyrics. But I did. It's absolutely excellent for it. I don't know if it's going to be among the best of the year in 10 months or so, but more weathered subtleties and textures reveal themselves with every listen. This only got better for me. Give it the proper time. Please check this out. So yeah, uh, thanks a lot for watching. If you want to see more, please be sure to like, share, drop some comments, and subscribe. I know I'm a little bit late to this. I really wanted to let this one sit with me just another day. And again, the past couple of weeks have been a little tumultuous. I'm not going to get into details. Beyond that, though, anything else I might be able to do to improve my presentation, I'm all ears. And if you all want to get involved in getting albums on my schedule, helping support the channel beyond buying merch, link down there in the description below. Or hell, you want to get just a chance to argue with me on my Discord. The link to my Patreon is right over there don't feel obligated tough times if there's an album that really highlights it it is this one but again don't feel obligated i'll be all right but the option is available till then i'm mark you're watching spectrum pulse and i'll see you next time